Hi, I'm Robin Williamson. I'm the Global Process Owner for Assessment at International Baccalaureate. Hi, I'm Duncan. I'm a business analyst specialising in the professional services sector, particularly consulting the organisation. I first joined the STA a few years ago, but life got in the way. Family commitments, young kids, some unexpected challenges meant I had to step back. I had a baby last October. Uh, I moved house this summer whilst going live with new technology at work. The peak of the project, uh, not a fun mix, but now that I'm back, I'm grateful to have uh, Robin mentoring me as I re-engage with the STA you know, the support has been amazing and it's given me the confidence to dive back into volunteering and knowing that I'm not doing this alone. Uh, I joined uh, the STA pretty much right when it started at the, the start of COVID. Um, I was involved in a number of projects and um, really through the, the early stages working beside uh, Andrew and Alistair and Kirsty. Um, and then uh, fortunately, um, I was able to work with Andrew Rendell, uh, and I worked uh, as a business analyst at a voluntary uh, organization up in Aberdeen, and the STA helped us out uh, as COVID on a project, um, and it was fantastic to be involved uh, and also meet lots of people. Um, and as as the organization has developed, and, and I've changed jobs a few times uh, since, since those early stages, uh, life got in the way, really. Um, and it's great to see how the STA has uh, evolved and grown. And it's been always nice to be networking in the background with the people I've worked with. And one thing that's been really good now is being able to sort of mentor a business analyst. I think the the interesting uh, point about coming back and, and volunteering again with the, the STA is um, a feeling of sort of getting involved. Um, it was um, one of the benefits of the STA in the early days was the sense of camaraderie in the community aspect about solving problems. Um, and really what's been interesting to see how it's developed um, as an organization and seeing how it's changing. Uh, and I think what's interesting about coming back is that sense of rebirth in terms of getting everyone involved and seeing how people have developed. I think one of the interesting things was when the STA helped uh, myself and VSA through the times of COVID. We worked on it and we worked with a lot of technology that was being uh, grown and developed through the STA. And it's nice seeing that evolve through in, and being involved in projects now. Uh, and it's great to come back. Um, I, I really get involved now. I think opportunity of playing a bit more of a mentoring role and being a bit more in part of the discovery and, and validating some of the requests they get in is the interesting bit for myself. That's what I'm interested in, in terms of how the STA can help come organizations solve the problem. So I think it's great that I can get involved in that element. It's great that we can do more on the mentoring. And then what's interesting is obviously leading into Duncan is that we can do some part of mentoring and helping as an, as a sort of double act again to try and help uh, organizations. So that's really good. So I think that's why I've been, it's great to come back. Hand over to you now, Duncan. <laughs> great, thanks Robin. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really excited to come back to actually work with Robin. So he's been mentoring me for a couple of years now and it's nice to actually have the opportunity to work on projects with Robin. And um, so put the, the words into practice really you know, the, re the real reason I came back initially um, was because life on the personal side is starting to settle down and I'm ready to dive back in. Initially, what drew me to the STA was the flexibility of the way that you can volunteer. Uh, now things are a bit calmer for me. I just I felt like um, it was the right time to come back and contribute again. And I think what's interesting, just thinking back about how we've uh, met various people at different stages of their careers, and help people get new jobs, help people get some confidence. Um, and I think it's really good, certainly from my point of view, working with Duncan, some of these uh, discovery phases of the requests is about being able to uh, take Duncan's enthusiasm and able to help channel that into meaningful projects. I think that's one of the key messages about the ST, I think, and one of the key things coming back is, is mentoring uh, and what it gives the mentee and the mentor. And I think from my point of view, Andrew Rendell, for example, has been a mentor to me throughout the last couple of years since we started this uh, 
and it's been great to be away from the STA, but also be connected through the mentoring relationship that we've had uh, over the years. So it's never really felt like we've been away from the STA. It's always been in the background. The STA understands that life is unpredictable, so they've made it easy for volunteers like me to stay engaged on you know our own terms. You know, even with everything else going on, whether you can give a lot um, of your time or just a little. There's always something meaningful you can contribute to, and the STA allows you to do that. You know, you can engage on your terms and select the projects you want to work on, and that's why it's such an interesting uh, organisation to be part of. If you're considering volunteering, I encourage you to take the plunge. It's a great way to use your skills for a good cause, and the STA makes it an easy fit uh, volunteering into your life, no matter how busy uh, you are. ST allows you to select the projects and deploy your strongest skills as you please. So head over to the ST website to, to learn more. Over to you, Robin. Thank you, Duncan. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's um, Hopefully you found that enjoyable. Um, we hope to see you uh, as part of the ST community soon. It has been a fantastic uh, experience for myself. I think it's been great to uh, step back from, step back in, should I say, from the reserves and be part of the community, and uh, I would uh, look forward to welcoming you to the SDA.